Hello Alpha Romeo lovers. We have an Alpha in Choro Q form, but the poor packaging had no indication of it being an Alfa Romeo, it just says Zagato, which is the house of design that designed this car. Uh, you'll see here it says 2003, so it's a pretty old toy. Uh, let's see, it's an orthographic and some Japanese legal jargon. So in that cardboard box was this plastic container to hold such a small toy. Seems unnecessary, but these can stack, so at least that's beneficial. And then inside was this thing. So the only way I figured out it was an Alpha was I was then able to see the grill. And then I remembered I have a car in 164 that looks similar to this, and then I realized it's the, the TZ3 Corsa Zagato. So if I recall, a, a, a rich German person paid Alfa Romeo to design a one-off based off of the 8C, and that's what Zagato came up with for Alfa Romeo, this thing. It's a little bit inaccurate, uh, you know, it's got this weird power bulge, and I don't want really to see this shape on that power bulge, but I do see the fact that this is a gullwing, so I think this is a gullwing door, and then it has the side vent similar, so I think this is what uh, they were going for. Maybe they just didn't know the images of this car when they were developing the toy, and that's a possibility, but looking at the windows there, that's a pretty similar side profile. And then the rear end, which is quite unique. Again, this is similar, but, you know, the taillights aren't actually round, like on that real car. But the exhausts are similar in that area where the exhaust is. So, yeah, again, that leads me to suspect maybe they were making this toy, but they didn't have quite the photographs of the finished car yet. Maybe it's based off concept sketches, not sure. Okay, well, anyways, let's get into this toy here. So this is a red. It's not a metallic though. It's just a regular red. It's running the standard Choro Q 5-spoke chromed and then really, really gappy because this is a toy. Um, these bumps here, I'm not sure. I don't see them on the real photograph, but maybe they're side markers. Smoked, uh, lightly smoked, almost clear uh, canopy here so you can see the motor quite a bit. But uh, that also means the headlights are clear, so that's nice. And then there's a texture in the grill. The Alpha grill here is silver, and then a little round thing, but no actual Alpha badge. Yeah, so there it says 2003, and then the clear base for it, so you can see the motor running. There's a tab and a screw that holds that base down. Yeah, so these are obviously the wrong shape, but I think this shape is correct, and then that's actually supposed to be a rear window. Oh, I think it might actually be clear as well, but smoked, right? Uh, yeah, that's clear. That must be some sort of molding process there, where the pins push the piece of plastic out of the mold. Okay, so it's alright. I mean, it's definitely not the same as the, the real car. So, yeah... You know what? I'm going to do a wheel swap because I actually have some 3D printed wheels that look like the photograph. So let's uh, do that here. Hmm, this tab is always problematic it seems. Like it's, the tab is too big for the, the hole it's going into. Almost got it. So if that doesn't work, I have this modified phone opening tool. I just jam in there and try to push that tab down. There we go, come on. <laughs> Even so. I don't know why they just don't design the hole to be a little bit bigger. But I guess they don't ever expect people to take their toys apart. Okay. So there, that's the clear body, just well painted. These little verticals are there to keep the front axle trapped because it's not trapped by the motor this time around, so it's a longer wheelbase than most Choro Qs. So this is a motor with the rear axle removed. That way I can use less putty to put the tires on, or the new wheels on. Snap that back in there. Get my hand screwdriver. So is that right?
right? What's going on? Why is that so... I guess that is correct. I didn't notice that before. How that's just sticking down like that. But if you look at the axle hole, that, that is pressed up against the, those supports. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, that's weird. It would have that giant lip there. But, well, why would they design that to come lower? It's really strange. Am I missing something? I can't be missing something. Weird. Alright, well anyways. So here are the 3D printed wheels and there's also a brake system back in there. I'm not sure if you can see it. Where's the caliper? Well, there it is. Alright, I'm going to put the caliper by the door. Oh, that's too much putty. Too much putty again. It's always hit or miss trying to guess how much putty you need to put on this, on these things, because uh, the chassis aren't always the same. Usually there isn't a wall there, so a lot of the putty would just go into the middle of the, the body, but this time that wall is there. So I could actually space it to have a wheel wheel gap. that's going to work for today. They're not the exact same gray as that car, but uh, they're more realistic than the five spokes we just looked at, right? So let's take a look at a, let's look at a 164 equivalent there. So this is by Kyosho. It is the TZ3 Corsa, but it's in yellow. And I also have this uh, Kyosho 8C Competition, which I believe is the, the basis of this car in real life. But you'll see on the yellow, it does have gullwing doors like, like this Choro Q, so... But it doesn't have that weird power bulge. But it does have a similar grille and definitely a similar tail end treatment. Yeah, so if anyone can think, what else could this be? I don't know. Zagato's designed so many different cars, but I'm pretty sure it is this Alpha. But for some reason, maybe they couldn't get the licensing for Alfa Romeo, so they just did that. That might be the story behind this toy. Okay, let's get these two out of here. And uh, comparing to some Churro Qs, I do have this Alpha, I think it's a Julia. Julia Super is what it says on the bottom. And uh, I also have a Ferrari F50. So both of these are Choro Q Zeros. The latest line of Choro Qs available to purchase. And they have, uh, you know, a lot of greater details. But one detail that's lacking is the clear headlights. You know, this old guy has clear headlights. These two are painted on. It's not so bad on this one, but this looks a little weird, you know, having such a giant silver painted headlight. So I'm not really a fan of some of the Cherokees in that respect. Uh, because this is like a weird one-off car, I'm going to put this weird car up here, which coincidentally has the similar wheels. These, uh, this Mitsuoka Orochi, it's called. And it just has white wheels. Okay, so yeah, a little bit of a mystery. Some pretty lame packaging, not really even telling you what the car is. So, don't really know the story there. And then, uh, 
Well, it's interesting though. It's still a pretty funky looking cartoonish car, even if it isn't as matching up to those photographs as well as it could be. But uh, anyways, I still like Cherokee, so there'll be more videos to come. Thanks for watching.